it doesn't really tell you the portion size because I don't think I've had these before. My gorgeous cup of tea. Let's taste one. Absolutely love peanut butter. Good morning everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's Jen here. As you can see by the title of the video, this week I'm going to be eating the recommended British diet. I'm going to be following this diet plan and see how I get on. I'm going to be showing you all the meals and see what I think of them. And I gotta say, my fridge never looks so healthy. Look at all that. So this is what the meal plan looks like, I'm going to pop it up there. And for meal number one, on a Monday, we've got muesli, peaches, canned peaches, and semi-skim milk. And honestly, I think it's a bit of a weird combination. I don't think I've ever tried that in my life. But let's see how I get on. <laughs> Getting a bit of everything there on the spoon. <laughs> Interesting. I don't know if I like it or not. To be fair, I'm normally not very picky with my food. But I do find this is a weird combination. But I don't hate it. Actually not that bad at all. I quite enjoyed that. Had a bit of a sweetness to it with the peaches and it did taste quite healthy as the muesli is no added sugar it was a bit of a different muesli from another muesli i've tried before but yeah definitely don't hate it oh i don't really have breakfast though so it'd be interesting to see if that keeps me full because i normally don't have anything but you know if you eat you end up wanting to eat more <laughs> in my opinion anyway but yeah we'll see what lunch brings us i nearly forgot to show you the orange juice so it says that you can have 150 ml of orange juice, which is what I'm having, which is not really a lot if you think about it. But yeah. Lovely. Hi guys, so it's lunchtime now and it says for me to eat a jacket potato with tuna mayo and sweet corn and a salad. And this is what we've got. It's quite a big lunch and I gotta say, I'm not very hungry right now. I don't normally, like I said, I don't normally have breakfast. So it's now three o'clock in the afternoon and I normally would have lunch about 12 because I don't have breakfast. So yeah, just left it in for this time now because yeah, I'm still not hungry, but I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> I'll let you know how it goes. Now for the second part of lunch. I know, there's a second part. So we've got two oat cakes, some grapes and cheese. It's quite a lot of food, but I guess some of it is healthy, so. Well, I've never tried oat cakes before, but I actually like it with cheese. Hmm. Hiya, so it's dinner time now. Don't mind me my penguin pajamas. So we're about to have a curry. So I made this curry, so it's got spinach, chickpeas, carrots, some onions. It just says chickpea and spinach, but I just added my own thing. And then brown rice and a big cup of water. <laughs> I'm just going to put it out there. It doesn't really tell you the portion size, so it's just a bit difficult to know how much to make for. So I ended up making my regular portion which is, I mean, this one I tried a bit smaller because the earlier one, I'm just still kind of full. <laughs> but yeah, it doesn't really say much about that. So I guess I have to keep making less, but yeah. So now for snacks, I don't really know if you're meant to have it this time. It's kind of 11 p.m. But I'm just having my snacks now and it says to have guacamole and half of a pita bread, like a wholemeal pita bread. So my avocados weren't ripe yet, so I'm just using this creamy avocado, I hope it counts, as a guacamole. And there's my pita bread, and then it says you can have four squares of dark chocolate. I'm having this orange flavoured dark chocolate, because who can stand dark chocolate anyway? So I need a bit of flavour in there. So for the first day overall, I think it's definitely so much food. Honestly, I just feel like I my entire week's meals. <laughs> in one day. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of healthy meals and I'm excited to see what happens during the week. 
Good morning everyone, it's Tuesday and we've got peanut butter on toast for breakfast and 150 ml of orange juice and a skinny latte from what I understood it's just a normal coffee with a dash of milk but I'm not sure now I'm really looking forward to this because I already love peanut butter I don't know if you watched my past video why in a week absolutely love peanut butter so I'm really gonna enjoy this mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. yep love it <laughs> So it's now lunchtime and we've got chicken and whole wheat pasta salad and I added some other things to it. So we've got cucumber, tomato, ham, onions and we added spice to it as well because otherwise it'd be really boring wouldn't it? <laughs> but it smells really good and I'm excited to try it. And they also say for me to have four dried apricots which will be interesting to see because I don't think I've had these before but yeah and not to toot my own horn but this looks really good and let's have a taste test mm. yes yes it tastes so good totally recommend it even if you don't do this diet well I was gonna say though if you do try to do this diet I find that you have to buy a lot of different types of food and they go off really quickly. So what I'd say is buy the things, like all the food for the first three to four days and then you go, you go out again to buy the food because otherwise you're just gonna be left with loads of things that will go off. I recommend you have a really big freezer space though, like a lot of freezer space because whatever you don't eat, you should just put it in the freezer so you don't have a lot of food waste. They look like little sweeties. Let's taste one. Ooh, I like it. Weird consistency, but I quite like it. It's not too sweet, but it's a bit sweet. Just the perfect amount of sweet. That makes sense. Not bad. So guys, it's dinner time now and here we've got the salmon, the kale, broccoli and potatoes. It did say new potatoes, but I only found out the other day what new potatoes were so I just bought normal potatoes but yeah so I seasoned the potatoes these are just boiled potatoes and um, the kale I don't really like kale but I decided to try it anyway but instead I put loads of spices on it I put garlic and some all season spice as well as oil I taste a bit and it's so yummy all right let's give it a taste of everything overall got the salmon there Mm mm. Yep. It's so good. That is so good. It's probably healthy. But I'm now gonna go eat this and I'll see you guys at snack time. Oh my gosh, she's thick. So now it's snack time and we've got a smoothie. So they said for you to put in it. Sim skim milk, frozen berries, and low fat free yogurt. So you're allowed a smoothie and two digestives. And there's another another section there that says that you are you are allowed to have coffees and teas and whatnot throughout the day um, as your like water intake. So I am having a cup of tea because I just can't live without one. At the same time as well, it's winter. Why am I having a smoothie in winter? <laughs> it's really cold, it's actually freezing my hands. So, And there's also the fact that it says a smoothie with two digestive biscuits, which just doesn't go, it just doesn't go together. So I'm just gonna have the cup of tea and the digestives and then the smoothie. 
because I'm just gonna wait for it to get like room temperature because it's way too cold right now <laughs> but yeah overall today I found that the food was lovely and I feel like it was a perfect amount I think I'm kind of getting better with the portioning size and everything else yesterday too much food for Monday and today was good I was actually looking forward to every meal and getting hungry um, but yeah so I really enjoyed today's meals looking forward to the rest of the week it's Wednesday my dudes and for breakfast we've got banana, brown flakes and milk and then a cup of tea which I'm very looking forward to that but I'll have that in a minute I've never tasted brown flakes before so this will be interesting I heard that it's bland and it is very bland <laughs> oh my God. The banana's doing a bit giving it a bit of taste here but apart from that very very bland Right now for lunch we've got a wholemeal roll and it doesn't specify the chutney so I just got this caramelized onion chutney so I'm gonna put that in and then cheese and then the salad I just got cucumber tomatoes and lettuce and a pear but I don't even think it's right yet so yeah I'm gonna assemble it now there you go it's all ready now Got a little bit of the jam, I kind of packed it all in there. Not jam, caramelized onion, chutney, and the cheese, cucumber, lettuce, tomato. And yeah, I put both the chutney at the bottom and at the top. But yeah, it's a strange combination. I don't think I've ever had chutney in a sandwich before, in a roll. I'm finding that on Monday there was so much food, and then yesterday was just like the perfect amount. And then today, I feel like might not be enough i don't know if it's the roll because the roll is a bit smaller but yeah we'll see how it goes by the end of the day also i found that because you know what you're gonna make you can meal prep everything well i meal prep like two of the meals so i put them in the freezer and i don't have to worry about them like tonight's dinner i'm not gonna have to worry about cooking it because i've already meal prepped it and i took it out of the freezer yesterday so it could defrost and we could have it tonight so that's all good i'm just gonna Enjoy this lunch now. Let's just have a taste test on this roll and see what it's like with the chutney. Oh gosh, it's gonna fall apart. Ah! Mm. I'm not sure. It's alright. It's not the best. I'm not sure if I should have gone for caramelized onion or not. Maybe we should have gone for mango. <laughs> but yeah. Mm. It's okay. I guess it goes with the cheese, a bit of sweet and savory. Kinda like that. But yeah, I'm just gonna go have this now and a pear. So guys, it's now dinner time and for dinner we've got a vegetarian chili with brown rice so i put chickpeas spinach mixed beans and i did it with um, just a normal chili sauce and very pleased with myself for making this a few days ago and putting it in the freezer because all we did is take it out of the freezer put it in the fridge like i said like i've mentioned earlier and now we just put it in the microwave to reheat it and it felt like i was having like a ready meal but i know that it's homemade and yeah, looking forward to it and I'll see you at snack time. Which I, for some reason, keep having at 11pm. I don't know if you're meant to have it at that time, but I just keep doing it. I don't know why. kind of like it though. It's like my midnight snack, pretty much.
So guys, it's snack time now and <laughs> look at this. So this diet plan actually allows you to have a red wine on a Wednesday. Can you believe that? So I got, I'm not fast guys, like I love my wine, but I bought the cheapest wine I could find. I'm not educated enough on the matter. I just drink whatever, but it will be my first time trying this specific one. But yeah, so for snack time, you can have 175 mils of wine. Very specific, I know. I'm gonna try and guess. I'm gonna really try and guess and open this bottle with you guys, but it also allows you to have a handful of nuts, unsalted nuts, and some raisins, which these are like mixed raisins because I bought it all in a pack. You would have seen it already, but it comes all in a pack, so I thought, why not? Why not? <laughs> all right, okay, stop. So I'm just gonna open this with you guys now. Oh my god. And I'm just gonna get two shots of vodka. Right, I think 120. Doesn't say anything. I think it was here. Oh gosh, it's going everywhere. I think this is about 175 mil, right? Maybe a little bit over that, but oh. yeah, we'll go with that. It's Wednesday. Why not? You better stop! Anyway, cheers. I'll see you all tomorrow. Good morning, boys and girls. It's Thursday today, and you guessed it. It is breakfast time. And we've got a wholemeal toast with a small can of reduced sugar beans, baked beans, and a skinny latte. And I'm not looking forward to dropping all these beans on my white jumper. <laughs> and to those of you who don't know, um, baked beans on toast is actually a classic British meal. And I actually have it on a daily basis, <laughs> basically. I quite enjoy it. I know it might be a weird combination to some people, but it's quite nice. It's a little bit sweet, but this one is reduced, reduced sugar, so it shouldn't be as sweet. And I just have it on toast and it's lovely. I'm going to enjoy this and I'll see you guys at lunchtime. Afternoon, it's lunchtime now and it's actually four o'clock. I just was really full from the beans so I'm just having lunch now and that's why the light is on because in the UK it's apparently pretty dark outside at four <laughs> but I'm just having lentil soup. Can't really see it very well. Lentil soup with a wholemeal sandwich with salad, ham, salad cream, and yeah, and two tangerines. And there you have it, it's lunchtime. <laughs> I reckon I'm just gonna enjoy all of this because I quite like lentil soup and I also like a salad, ham and salad sandwich. So yeah, <laughs> see you at dinner time. So it's now dinner time and excuse this state of me, I'm currently in the process of curling my hair. <laughs> But thankful again that I meal prepped my dinner. And today's dinner is salt heating up in the microwave. And today's dinner is lean pork and pak choy stir fry with noodles. And yeah, I'm gonna show you in a minute. And here we are, here's dinner. And I prepared this before and then I also put it in the free freezer like the vegetarian chili from yesterday. So here we've got the lean pork, noodles and then the green stuff is pak choy. I also used one of them sauces there for stir fry. I used the garlic and soy one. But yeah. So I'm now just gonna go enjoy that and I'll see you at snacks time. So guys, it's now snack time and just get a mention, update on the dinner. Just don't like pork, I just don't like it. So I couldn't even finish it, but yeah, just thought I'd let you know. And I also have a confession to make. Right, so one of my flatmates had a birthday and they offered me cake and I couldn't resist it. So I had some cake guys. It's not every day you get offered cake, so I had it. That's it. Yeah. 
And also, surprise, surprise, 11 p.m. and I'm having my snack now. And for snack, we've got low fat, pla oh my gosh, I'm just gonna drop this on there. Low fat plain yogurt with berries and pumpkin seeds. And I chose blueberries because they're my favorite berries and it doesn't specify, so I just chose blueberries. And yeah, and you're allowed plain crisps. Yep, that's it. It says plain crisps on there. I hate ready solid crisps. Like I hate it, but I'm gonna eat it because it says plain. So they specified about that. But yeah, so I'm just gonna have these. And I'll see you tomorrow. Actually, let me just tell you. I think all the food today was good apart from the stir fry. I know I love stir fry, but I just, I'm just not a big fan of pork. But yeah, overall, it was a good day. Good amounts, I'd say good amount of food. Although, I did have half of the soup instead of the whole can, because otherwise you'd be a bit too much, I think. But yeah, and that's it. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It's Friday, and today we've got wheat biscuits I can never show you with some skim milk and bananas or Weetabix if you may and I'm gonna drop everything in there there you go and don't forget 150 ml of orange juice that's a breakfast I already love Weetabix as it is so I'm gonna enjoy that. Let me know in the comments. Do you have your Weetabix warm or cold? I know this polarizes people, but I wanna know because it depends with me. I sometimes have it warm, sometimes I have it cold. It just depends for the day, what I'm feeling like. <laughs> Hi guys, so it's now lunchtime and I don't know why I keep having this late, but I'm really, really hungry today. So it's been such a long time since breakfast. So today we've got a whole meal wrap with rocket, pepper and hummus in it. And then we've got low-fat yogurt with honey and cinnamon. I'm just trying to show you. And I had never tried rocket before, but I tried a little bit on its own, and it's a bit salty. I didn't expect that. But yeah, so I'm just gonna show you what's inside this wrap. Oh my gosh. Mm-mm. It's so good. I love hummus, so that's probably why. As for the yogurt, I'm just gonna try it on camera just because I had never tried this combination of honey and cinnamon in the yogurt. If you've seen the video of why in a week, you'll know that I'm obsessed with cinnamon. So I think this would be quite nice. Let's see how it tastes like. Mmm. That's really nice. I put way too much honey in it though. It's very sweet. I'm not complaining. It's like a dessert. I'll have the wrap first and then this. I'll see you guys at dinner time. Good evening everyone. It's dinner time and for dinner we've got a fish pie with green beans and peas. You would have seen me assembling the fish pie and I was gonna show you, but we were just so hungry, we just wanted to tuck in, we as in me and my boyfriend, we just wanted to tuck in and just start eating it because it smelled so good. But yeah, so this is dinner and I look forward to it. Hello everyone, so it's now snack time, 11.30 p.m. Shocker, I know. So we've got a scone and right so it says for you to eat seven brazil nuts i don't really like brazil nuts and they're ironic since i'm brazilian but <laughs> basically um they said seven brazil nuts but whenever i have looked up in the past about brazil nuts it always says that you shouldn't eat more than three because it's kind of like bad for you but i'm not sure so i just didn't want to eat that so instead i'm gonna have almonds don't judge me i'm just gonna have almonds instead <laughs> i just think it's better so um 
yeah so i've got scone with low fat spread so i'm using the triangle low fat spread and yeah snack time also guys about dinner oh my goodness that fish pie was so unbelievably yummy i had never made anything like it i had never made a fish pie before but all i did was i bought the fish pie mix so you get different types of fish like smoked salmon haddock and cod so i just put that on in a dish and i mixed i don't know if you know i'm gonna pop it on the screen one of them spice mix from shorts i got the shepherd's pie one so i mixed that with hot water and gravy granules and i made like a nice thick sauce and i put carrots in it onions and then i poured the sauce on top and then for the mash i put dijon mustard in my mash and oh my gosh i think that made it so good and then loads of spices like chili flakes and whatnot also for the mash i put butter and milk as i normally would and some grinded pepper in it as well and yeah so just thought i'd let you know that dinner was lovely and i'll probably have that again <laughs> good morning everyone it's saturday and today for breakfast we've got two whole meal toast and scrambled eggs on top and grilled tomatoes and then we also have 150 ml of orange juice I love scrambled eggs on toast, so this is gonna be a treat. <laughs> Hi guys, so it's lunch time now, and are you ready for the world's biggest lunch? So first we've got a thin crust margarita pizza, and he said with added vegetables, so I don't know if it's acceptable to put a rocket in it, but I just put a rocket on top, and it doesn't say if you're meant to have the whole pizza, but I'm just having it anyway. You're also meant to have a side salad, so there's my side salad with just cucumber, tomatoes and lettuce and then you're meant to just have a fruit salad I've got apples, pears and banana and that's it so much food but we're gonna enjoy it it's Saturday hello everyone so it's dinner time now if you're wondering why my hair is all slicked back I just got back from work and for dinner today we've got a spaghetti bolognese with whole wheat spaghetti and yeah that's dinner i'm really looking forward to that because i do love my spaghetti but yeah a lot of food today for some reason <laughs> hello guys so it's snack time now don't mind my taco cats pajamas i just basically live in pajamas i get home change into pajamas or loungewear just love it <laughs> so for snacks we've got a flapjack so it's the hobnobs flapjacks doesn't have to be this one but i just chose this one this is what it looks like and just open it for you there you go and 175 mils of wine the same wine i'm just having it again because it says for me to have it <laughs> and yeah so overall today i thought it was a lot of food like a lot like there's no need for <laughs> for there to be so much food but i guess because it's like a treat type of day because it's a saturday so yeah treat yourself but yeah so much food we had in the morning two slices of toast and scrambled eggs tomatoes and then for lunch we had a pizza with added vegetables and side salad and fruit salad then for dinner we had spaghetti bolognese and then now for snacks we have a flapjack and a wine and i'm just like oh my gosh that's so much <laughs> we love it really don't we but yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow good morning everyone so it's sunday and it's the final day and for breakfast we've got porridge with figs and pumpkin seeds and we also got a apple juice, 150 mils of apple juice for a change. And then my gorgeous cup of tea, which you can't see. <laughs> there you go. Lovely. But yeah, that's for breakfast. I've just tried a fig because I had never tried it before. And it's like a raisin, just like a big raisin. It's quite nice and sweet. Hi guys, so it's lunchtime now. It's really late. It's like seven i just didn't feel hungry all day and i was also really busy i went on a walk with a friend long distance walk 
and I'm just having lunch now and I'm probably gonna have dinner very very really late <laughs> so for lunch we've got a roast chicken with some carrots and peas and roast potatoes as well and I had to cover it in gravy because it's not a roast without gravy and but they didn't say to put gravy which is very strange but I did it anyway <laughs> then we've got a rice pudding it says spice rice pudding so I'm just gonna add cinnamon to it and it said homemade rice pudding but I had made a homemade one about two months ago so I didn't want to go through that process again so I just bought one from Asda and yeah so I'm just gonna eat this and catch up with you later hi guys it's dinner time now and I'm still full from my lunch I'm not gonna lie but here we've got dinner and it's a green salad so I've got cucumber lettuce and green beans in it and then sweet potato wedges and an omelette cheese and onion omelette and then a lemon mayo which I've never heard of before but just squeeze some lemon in a bit of mayo and that's it and then for the omelette I just put a bit of onion cheese salt and pepper mix it with the egg and that's it but yeah i'll see if i can even get two snacks because this is probably gonna fill me up even more but yeah. hi guys so it's now snack time at literally midnight but it is gonna be our last meal of the week and for the snacks we've got an apple and plain popcorn which i completely burnt look at all that I just can't believe I did that. I'm gonna try and salvage it, but I'm just not sure if I will be able to. <laughs> I'll try though. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm still pretty full from lunch slash dinner, but I'm just gonna try and eat as much as I can. So, but yeah, we did it everyone. 